Hello and welcome to the Essex train van. Today is Tuesday the 23rd of October 2018 and we're going to be visiting the Clare Country Park and the ex Clare Railway Station. I've now arrived at Clare Country Park which is absolutely amazing. So we're just going to do a bit of walking around. I'm here with my uh, little brother MT's crazy. Exploring. We're going to do a bit of exploring. We're going to look around at the second and uh, find out whether or not we can spot the old railway. Um, we're trying to look for Clare Railway Station uh, which was closed when? 1967 guys my dad's very knowledgeable no, it closed no. in 1967 from what i can see so far near this children's play area there's actually uh, an embankment if you can just spot it just there and i'm not sure oh, well, here we if go, that's guys. anything to do with the railway it could even be the castle oh, i was going to film the bus journey and stuff guys but that would be a tiny bit boring here we go so we're now in, a dark room, so in true Saffron Walden yeah. vlog style, uh, I'm yeah. not the best vloggers out there. I'm not, I'm not a vlog artist or anything like that. Ow. Maybe I'll try and add some music and special effects here or something, but I don't think I'll be able Get to. Some cool shots. So we'll try, well, yeah, definitely. Um, so this is exploring with me and my yeah. little brother uh, MT's crazy. Hey, nah, that's the. Oh, God. That dude. can't be anything. Wait, stop. There's nothing. I would have thought that was, I thought that's the old platform house for a minute. Platform house? What's Will going on about? I thought it was oh, the old no, railway station. There. There, but maybe it's not, maybe it's over there. It might have been an old pop, old railway embankment, you know? Do you think so? Yeah, just, uh, it leads this way. It just leads this way to me. Um... And I tell you what, guys, this is very scenic. I'm sorry about the sun and the uh, the purple bit. I can't avoid yeah, that, sadly. It's the sun. It's, uh, <laughs> wish I had a better camera. But. I should do behind the there scenes we are. on my. Oh, what's this, guys? Sure. Nothing, guys. No, things to watch out for. Look at that. Hawthorne. I'll let you guys read that if you want to pause the video. Right direction. Hazel. For any of you gardening people. <laughs> and also the bulrush as well. Very nice. Really I'll tell you what, already I am very impressed with the scenery. It's mm. wonderful. To think there used to be an old railway line. Hey, look. It used to run. Thing. I know. It's down to Clare. Someone's Tell you what, guys, it's a real little gem. If you ever have time to come down to Clare, just for the countryside, or if you want to walk an old railway line, which we're doing, I which we hope we'll be doing very shortly, then this is not a um, railway line. This is a park. Then, then come down to Clare. Like whenever you get boring. a bit of free time, ideally during the summer. But this is actually quite nice. It's uh, October the twenty-third. And it isn't too bad, if I'm honest with you. Bad weather-wise, it's actually quite pleasant out here. Oh, forward. Left, right. Forward. We can either go left, left right, right or forward. forward. Hey, oh, this is it. This is it. This must be the railway. One minute, one minute. Yes, that's the old railway bridge. It's still there. Come on, the old railway bridge at Clare. Yeah. And then there's a line. So the railway line would have ran off over here. Yeah. And look at that. Oh. There is even... Go to the station first and then we'll walk the rest of this old railway line. Guys! We're going to have ourselves uh, a little look at the railway station at Clare. Then afterwards, we're going to go and walk over there and have a little uh, have a little look around and see if we can find anything, guys. I guarantee you, right here, there was probably a crossing at some point because because of that. There we are, guys. And this must have been part of a, what would have been a railway bridge. It's very scenic, very beautiful. Introducing you to Clare Railway Station. It's the only Great Eastern Railway Station to to um. To, have, to be built around the site, around the old castle bailey, an old castle bailey. Don't ask me what a bailey is. Don't ask me what a bailey is because I am not sure, guys. But I can guarantee you one thing. I'm standing on what used to be Clare Railway Station. And it's weird to think that there would have been trains passing here in the 60s, the 50s, steam engines would have once chugged through here guys on the Cambridge, I believe it was the Cambridge, Mark Taylor Cambridge line, Haverhill, one of them. I'm going to stop off for a bit of a photo right now guys. I'm not only here to video. Um, what's your impression? What's your first impression? 
Rubbish? Well, of course he was. He's not really a row enthusiast. What's your first impression, Dad? It's brilliant. It just looks like Takeley and Rain Station. First time I've been here in 40 years. This would have once said Claire, I'm guessing. Once would have said Claire. <laughs> to have uh, got a time machine and uh, and gone back in time guys so I could see what Claire used to look like back in the steam days with steam engines running down here and uh, stuff like that but sadly time machines have not been invented um, yet. What a fantastic place. This here would have probably been an old waiting room, guys. It's got one bit open, not it? Yeah. Just fantastic. <coughs> I don't know what that is. This would have been well maintained back in British Rail days. Yeah, that's a good point actually. Guys, if you ever wanted to see what this lovely station used to look like back in the steam days, then t by all means type up Clare Suffolk Station in, uh, in, Nor in Suffolk, yeah, on YouTube or Google. Is this even got the old goods line where they probably would have unloaded some produce or something produced in the local area? I personally think that's quite amazing. It's amazing how the old station is kind of still retained. And I spot a bit of track. I spot a bit of track. I, I know. Now, Clare Railway Station was the only Great Eastern Railway Station to be built on the site right next to an old castle bailey. Now, I don't know what bailey means, but that is an old castle right up there. Old Clare Castle. What le what's left of it. We'll be going up there and having a little look a bit later. It looks very beautiful though. Sorry for the shaking, it's cold. It's very cold. The railway line would have proceeded, would have proceeded over here. And obviously towards here, there would have been two tracks, maybe a third over here for the uh, unloading of goods, fish, coal, anything, anything. I don't really know what sort of traffic used to be down here. And just in the front of me over there, is what remains of an old good shed. <laughs> We're now heading off to the good shed. We're just going to go and have a little look around and see what is there. Well, one point, um, as I said, the goods line would have diverged off from here after like the freight train came in to unload. Then it would have went off and it would have curved around and went over there uh, to the goods shed. And curiously, there's still an old crane and even a bit of track as well. So if, I, if you just follow me, there's the castle, which is uh, just magical, really. Ruin of the castle. This is the good shed, guys. This is the old good shed. And as you can see, rather curiously, they've got a bit of old track here. It's probably not an original from when the line closed, oh. but it is original sort of track that would have been used. And also the old loading, unloading crane here as well.
says here, most goods yards had a crane. It's used to unload heavier items and smaller goods such as parcels and crates were unloaded by hand in the goods shed. Most rural stations like Clare had at least a small goods yard as this was the only efficient way of transporting goods en masse around the country in the 19th and early 20th century. Clare Goods Shed, now the Park Visitor Centre, uh, handled perishable items and small crates. Um, perishable items and small crates, which could be loaded by hand. Many building parts for RAF Stradishall arrived by Raoul de Clare and were, un were loaded onto trucks by the use of the crane. The crane was manually operated using a winding handle to control the steel rope and lifting hook while a metal bar was used to rotate the crane to a different position. So said so there, when Clare Goods Yard closed in 1966, the station the following year, much of the railway material was surplus to requirements or recycled by British Railways. The track and signal pylons were removed and Clare's crane was scrapped. The crane at nearby Glemsford was saved from destruction by a local landowner who used it on his farm just outside Clare. 2004, his son Robert Wise donated the crane for display at Clare Castle Country Park, where it now stands on the site of the original crane. The crane was brought to the park by Clare Railway Society. So, guys, this is it. This is this was actually Glemsford's crane. The original one here sadly got scrapped. With the old goods shed uh, right behind me, the old goods shed right behind me, um, and just over here, where it kind of begins, if you like, from the Clare Goods Shed side. From the Clare Good Shed side. <laughs> they got a little platform one cafe. There we are. Very nice. Station is just down there. Good Shed is just there. The castle is just up there. One of my favourite parts of doing this. It's called climbing. Climbing the castles. Uh, we do love doing this. We really, really do. Uh, I always love climbing tall things and uh, trying to overcome my fear of heights and stuff like that. I have a that. fear of heights. I have a really bad fear of heights. So the, uh, yeah, I have a really bad fear of heights and so does my little brother MC's crazy. Oh, look, look at that. Well, that's quite a nice little shot of the track. Oh, that's it. Oh, no. That's the banks there, isn't it? See? That's the banks there. This is alright to climb. It's the banks. Oh, is that a bank? Yeah, it's uh, fine. fine. So come on. So yeah, we're going to go up here now, guys. As you can tell, this is very, very... Dangerous. Tall. And dangerous. The, uh, the actual good shed is just down there. With the crane still uh, intact. Maybe right. Maybe you would. Who knows? Okay. Let's just try not to die as we walk up here. Well, it's steep. Yeah, you're right. It's very, very steep, isn't it? All right, guys. Here we go. Well, it's not really that high, so I'm not... It's scared. not... I'm not that scared yet, actually. I'm pleasantly surprised. Yeah, it's time to walk. And continue walking and see what we can There's find we when we reach the top. Which is going to be really cool. I'm very excited for this. Hopefully, we see quite a lot. It's not often that you get any railway station built right next to a castle. You know, um, not far away in distance from a castle. So this is quite incredible. Quite incredible to see. Did he? Ah, oh, oh well. My hands are hurting from so much filming, guys. But I love doing it anyway. It's because I've got like I'm the most unhealthiest person you'll meet sometimes. That's true. <laughs> I've only got like 20 something minutes of recording because, hey, who has time to um? As in, like, memory-wise, I've only got about tw oh my God. 20 minutes left of recording. I look like this, now. this is very steep and it's getting very high, guys. I'm loving this. It's a bit of a thrill. A thrill is always yeah. cool. A thrill is always amazing. <laughs> heights, guys. Heights. Love them. <laughs> heights, I hate. Whoa, look at this. Well, no, 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 stop for a minute. Look at this. Wow. It's a lovely little river down there. Oh, I see the football But we continue. Jeez. It's very swirly. It's a bit of a weird thing because we've actually got the railway station and the good shed down there. 
He didn't give up. Come on, him. Yeah, I think we should. So we are, guys. What? Yeah, you do. Yeah. There we are, guys. From the top. Good shed. Claire Station. Entrance where we were a bit earlier. And just stunning scenery all around. And just stunning scenery all around. Look at that. That's because I fouled on my first shot. Imagine uh, coming here by steam train and being able to see all this. It would have been absolutely fabulous. Absolutely fabulous, guys. This is a remnant of a uh, parcel. Uh, you join back here again at the Clare Country Park, and this time we are walking across the old railway bridge. This here is the old railway bridge towards there. Uh, just over there would have been the nice old bridge, maybe a crossing as well. And that would have been the. Uh, well, look at that. It's very lovely, isn't it? Uh, obviously, the Clare Railway Station. I've only got. 22 minutes left of recording on here now but you know what that doesn't matter because hopefully there's going to be a few bits of line side scenery and stuff that i'd like to show you guys which would be really really cool indeed uh so far our experience down here has been absolutely amazing to say the least isn't it mm. what do you say you think you've enjoyed it yeah yeah brilliant i would say i've enjoyed it quite a lot guys it's been uh, an amazing yeah, an amazing little day out yeah it's even got an old railway bridge, uh, and the old railway bridge is directly in front of us right now, actually. So this would have been cool. So this would have been the railway line to where, Dad? Sudbury. Well, yeah, obviously Cambridge as well, yeah. Yeah. So it would have been Cambridge and Sudbury, guys, and this would have been through this way. Over here, we have an old railway bridge. Let's continue our journey. We pass under this magnificent railway structure. I presume it's some sort of like road bridge or something. Yeah. Quite amazing if you could imagine being Hello. seeing a steam train with all the smoke rising up there. Really is quite amazing. Don't you mean down here? Up there. <laughs> Got the railway kind of embankments there, the typical sort of railway embankments <coughs> linked with structure. Today I came here by train by a Greater Anglia Class 156 diesel multiple unit, guys. Uh, 156407 to be specific. Um, and it's quite incredible to think that where I'm walking right now, if the tracks had still been left down and if the line hadn't had closed, here at Clare, I could have still been travelling on that same Class 156 beyond Sudbury. Um, and it's incredible. The original railway station at Sudbury was sadly demolished and replaced by a big swimming complex and car park. And that's evident at um, Sudbury station. It's not really as grand as it used to be anymore, it's just a little halt. But beyond that halt would have been this. Beyond that halt would have been this and Clare railway station. I really do think that is remarkable. Uh, today out. Yeah. I'm really enjoying my day out today, guys. Yeah, 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 um, and so, if you want to come and have a little look at what we've seen today, uh, it's Clare in Suffolk, Clare Castle Country Park, it's called. And it includes the old goods shed with a piece of track, the crane, the castle, and of course, well, the remains of the castle, and of course, the actual um, station at Clare, the old railway station at Clare, with a little buffet there. Warning, there's not too much to do apart from take walks and stuff like that, but it is really nice. And I would say it's worth it. Stunning. All right, guys, I want to thank you so, so much for watching this vlog. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, make sure you, you smash the like button and also subscribe, guys. Uh, if it, it would really help out if you could also press the notifications bell when you subscribe. Uh, so then you get notified about all the new videos that I release. Stuff. Also on Facebook, I have a Facebook group, it's called The Essex Train Fan. Just type into Facebook The Essex Train Fan, guys, and I will proudly come up. Uh, I found out that um, the embankment back there, remember this entrance, guys? Well, the embankment back there uh, wasn't actually connected with the railway at all. The 
embankment back there was actually um there's the, there's the lobby entrance the embankment back there was actually to do with the castle guys yeah. the old bailey bit yeah. of the castle so um so that was that it's been a very interesting day out and i've really enjoyed visiting claire if you're from Clare, put it in the comments below, guys. Um, it's an absolutely fantastic time down here. It really, really was. Uh, and I would highly advise that you come down here, especially if you're a row enthusiast and you want to see, um, you want to have a nice scenic walk, nice scenic railway walk. I only done part of the walk. I didn't do much of it. Um, and you want to see the old railway station and everything like that. I'd really, or if you're just a walker and you would love to see the beautiful, stunning scenery that this part of Suffolk uh, has to offer. Thank you so much on behalf of me and MT's Crazy over here. Please oh. do subscribe to MT's Crazy. Yes, please. Uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, and uh, yeah, as I said before, this is the end of the vlog. Like, subscribe, press the notification bell and comment if you've enjoyed this vlog. Uh, and also comment in the comments section down below whether or not you've ever been to Clare or any other part of Suffolk before, what you've enjoyed uh, about it the most. Um, it'd be great to hear from you. Thank you very much and bye-bye, guys.